Now, at this point, you may be thinking to yourself, I don't know, this all seems a little ad hoc. I mean, what's with that criterion for determining when a one form or a vector field is a gradient, a partial this, partial that? Is that just something you memorize, or is there some deep reason behind it? Is it really fundamental? Well, yes, it is fundamental in the sense that it is connected to the fundamental theorem of integral calculus, just like the independence of path theorem, just like everything that we're going to see from here on out. The fundamental theorem is key. But now you're having a dream, a dream of the future and the fundamental theorem of integral calculus, that one truly fundamental result is at the heart of everything that we are going to learn in the remainder of our journey. It is all related to the fundamental theorem.